Oh, I didn't even read this. I just saw it and liked it. But, um... Uh, oh, here, wait. Uh, yeah, you... Wait, so you... It's your, your PC, the case, is going to be big enough to put some Funko Pops in it? Nice, dude. I actually, I forget. I, yeah, yeah, I, I saw, I saw the picture yesterday. See through. Um, but yeah, this is wild. Microsoft has won the U.S. court case to acquire Activision Blizzard. So monopoly happening. Let's go. Um, the legal system worked. Wait, a fair and neutral court has reached the correct conclusion about Activision's, Activision Blizzard's merger with Microsoft based on facts and the law. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we have like anti-monopoly laws and things like that, but okay. The judge's ruling rejects the FTC's ideology uh, driven attempt to prevent a deal that benefits gamers and allows more competition instead of protecting the market leader. How? I've, I've, how is that allowing more competition? Anybody? Uh, ben, could you explain that? Because that, them merging, that's just less competition. That's squashing competition, right? Or am I wrong there? What? How? I feel like this is just like ass backwards way of thinking. When a bigger company buys another big company, the competition goes away. Right? It's not like, oh, now there's more competition. How? You like totally took your competition out of the space and made them yours. Like, that's what I'm watching them do that on Yellowstone. Like, they, that's like what they, they try to buy up all this land and like have less competition. Like, that's what they're doing. Uh, they focus on Call of Duty too much. Okay. They have to provide COD for PlayStation Nintendo for 10 years now. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I, that's just, I don't know. I feel like that's a totally backwards way of looking at things. And that's like somebody just lying. Like this person probably knows that she's lying, but they're just trying to push a narrative. That's the only downside for them. Yeah. Yeah. And is, is that really a downside? You know, like, no, but no, I, that's, yeah, I don't get that. Okay. The new class will be Warlock, hopefully. Okay, we saw that yesterday. Um, this was funny as fuck. Jonah Hill, man. Emotionally abusive weirdo. Just like, you can't post pictures of yourself online or hang out with other guys. You're a surfer, but you can't go surfing with other guys. Like, what the fuck, man? To me, when you're in a relationship, like, for me... That my person that I'm a partner with is going to be my best friend. We're best friends. If we're not, it's not going to work out long term. But that doesn't mean you can't have other friends. Like, like if I got into a relationship and somebody was like, oh, yeah, your best friend. Uh, I have one of my best friends who's been a girl since I was like 11 years old. I met her when I was like 18 or she was 18, 19, something like that. I was like 11 or 12 at this music store I've told you guys about that I started taking guitar lessons at. Her and these other people took me under their wing and brought me into the music scene. My best friend. Like one time she moved away uh, to go be in the Peace Corps for a while. And for one of my birthdays, I used to throw these huge birthday parties uh, at my house with bands playing and things like that. Uh, my grandmother had like gotten me for my birthday, like uh, bought her tickets to come back and be there for my birthday. Like, one of my best friends of all time. And like I'm like nobody's ever gonna tell me I like couldn't hang out with her. But when you're in a relationship, there needs to be that level of trust. If there's not that level of trust, it's not gonna work out. And th those aren't boundaries. It's not like oh, like there are boundaries that should be set in a relationship. Things that you're comfortable with, things you're uncomfortable with. That's totally fine. But then there's like way overstepping that and getting to the points where you're just trying to control the other person instead of letting them live their life. Uh, but. But yeah, okay, that's what I was saying. The merger is otherwise way too good on the corpo side. Yeah, that's like that 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 tweet was just pro corpo. That's it. Pro monopoly. That's it. There's no way to like spin that to where it's like, oh, there's more competition now. You literally bought up your competition, squashing it and making it one. That's it. There's no like more competition being created there. Uh unless you're trying to be like, oh, now more people will start fucking gaming companies and rise to prominence like but that's gonna happen anyway 
without having to create a monopoly. 